this video, we will learn how to find the approximation of a square root. Now, you might be asking, why do I have a calculator here if I'm trying to find an approximation? But there are going to be a couple strategies that I'm going to show you today, how you can find the approximation of a square root, which would put it in fraction form. But I'm just bringing the calculator in here just to show you the accuracy of our answers. So our first square root that we are going to work with is the square root of 66. Now, if I want to find what 66, and I'm going to use the square root button, we know that it is going to be 8.124, or 124 thousandths. I'm just going to go to the thousands place. And if this number was bigger than 5, I would round up just for the sake of this video. But as we are going through in previous videos, I've shown like, OK, where does radical 66 fall into place? Well, I'm going to ask myself what two perfect squares are going to be greater that square root of 66 falls in between. And I think because it's eight, we're going to have radical 64, which is simplified to eight and then radical 81. Now I'm going to ask myself, what is the distance? How many radicals between radical 66 and 64? That's going to be a positive 2, 66, 65, right, square root of 66, 2. And then what is the distance between here? And we're going to see it's going to be 15. If I took 81 and subtracted 15 from it, I would get 66. So we're going to ask ourselves, OK, when I'm finding the approximation, now the approximation is a tilted equal sign. So that means approximation. Forgot to put that radical 81 equals 9. So I know it's going to be 8 and 2 over these two numbers, 17. And you might be like, hmm, what is that? There are 17 spaces between radical 81 and radical 64. And we only are going to need the first two. So let's just double check. Hmm, let's go back to our calculator. So we're going to see what the approximation is. And I'm going to write the approximation in blue. So we're going to say, what is 2 divided by 17? And it's going to be 8.118, because that 6 is larger than 5. And this is pretty close. This is only 6 one thousandths away, but it gives you a pretty accurate answer in doing this little method here. Let's try it once again. And this would give us an approximation. Let's see, our next radical, I'll keep what it's going to equal, and then what the approximation is going to be. Our next radical is going to be radical 82. So I know that radical 82 is between 9 and 10 because radical 81 is 9 and radical 100 is 10. So I'm going to ask myself, here we go, what's the distance? And we see that it is 1. And then what is the distance between these two numbers? 19. 1 over 19 would be my fraction. So the approximation would be 9 and 1 19th. So let's go ahead and find that number. Let's find out what radical 82 is exactly equal to. We have 9.0 5 5. And so let's see what 1 divided by 19 equals, don't forget that 9, 0, 
five, three. See that six turns that two into when we're rounding off, it's a little greater than five. It's gonna go from a two, we're gonna round up that two to a three. Look how close, that's even closer than the first time. It's two thousandths of a difference, but that's pretty accurate, pretty darn accurate. I'm gonna do one more, one more problem for you. Here we go. Have you ever seen this strategy before? If not, I will have more videos on this strategy on the Math is Simple YouTube channel, so check it out. All right, our next one is Radical 20. So we ask ourselves, let's go ahead and clear out our calculator. Ask ourselves, okay, it falls in between radical or square root of 16 and square root of 25. So I'm going to see what is the distance between these two. We're going to say 4. And what is the distance between 16 and 25? 9. So our fraction is going to be 4 over 9. So we know that the approximate value is because radical 16 simplified it to 4. And it's going to be in between 4 and 5. So it's going to be 4 and 4 ninths. So let's find out what 4 ninths is. 4 divided by 9 is equal to 0.4. So we're going to have 4.44 4 4. It's pretty much a bar. 4444 4, 4, 4, all the way down. So let's see what exactly radical 20 or square root of 20 equals. 4.47 4, 2 not bad it's about 20 25 hundreds wait excuse me um 28 hundreds or 28 thousandths difference pretty darn close 4.44 and 4.47 a little close a little about almost a little less than three tenths away from each other but pretty darn accurate so i hope this helps you out in finding the approximation of a square root just remember it's super important for you know, to know the perfect squares, develop a table of some sort, and then don't hesitate. Use a calculator to verify your, your solutions. <laughs>